what's going on everyone and intentional or not on december has revealed the next update already just one week after their last update and that is on the 23rd of november so next week actually is the next update for undecember and it is going to include the first descent raid which is basically hard mode raids and um something that i wasn't expecting skill rune awakenings which i totally did not think that they would put in until they had put all the skills into the game but they're doing it so let's take a quick look and talk about it as we can see there's some new there's some new mechanics with ochagniel here So Descent Raids are basically hard modes of previous raid encounters. It looks like we're going to have just Ochagneal. Rune Awakening. Oh look, Toxic Flame. there it is all right so very quickly to break down what you just saw uh descent raids are hard mode raid versions of previous raids um this one it looks like that we're getting is specifically ochagniel and um as you can see he has some new mechanics through his transition phase and through his regular main phase as well um, that it's going to be a little more reliant on your teammates to have spatial awareness right you know you've got to be able to spread for this mechanic so that you're not overlapping most likely um as well as this right here in the transition phase when he's over in the middle there's a new stacking and lining uh aoe effect you're gonna have a finite amount of room in the room to use and it looks like they stay for a period of time so you got to be careful there so that's gonna be the first thing is these descent raids that we're going to be getting. I'm sure Caravan will be a blast when we finally get him. Um, so really surprised that we're getting like they're they're moving content right along, right? Like this is this is going to be for November 23rd. This is a week away. This is happening. All right, it's really soon actually. Uh, and then the awakening system, which I'm really surprised that we're getting. So that's cross slash that you're seeing there. This is Toxic Flame. This is, you know, the before. This is the after. Um, it'll be interesting to go over the patch notes once we get the patch notes to talk about it. Because there are some things to keep in mind about Awakenings that people are not aware of. Um, so real quickly to talk about the Awakenings. Two things. The method of acquisition for what you need in order to awaken a skill gem is a disassembled legendary rune so you have to get a legendary rune just to be able to uh dismantle it and get the required uh material needed in order to do rune awakenings which you can see it on the vendor uh when you're at the blacksmith you can see what the disassemblant uh item is but it tells you that it's, you know, for a later patch and is related to rune awakenings. Uh, there's one for link runes and there's one for skill runes. So that is a thing there uh, as well. So definitely keep that in mind. It's not going to be cheap to do. Um, and there are three possible. Now, again, I don't know what type of awakenings they're going to give us, what type of awakening system they're going to give us, or if it's going to be altered at all. But based on KR. All right, um, you know, we'll have to wait and see what the patch notes say, but there's three possible awakening options in which you can get um, from uh, this stuff. And I'll put a link to this website uh, that I'm going to go to right now. This is a uh, community created uh, on December page from Korea. It is missing just a couple skills from it. Um, 
but it has all of the skills for the most part. And then if you open up that skill, all right, um, so let's use uh, the shield charge one. If you open it up, if you have Google, just translate it to English. Right here is the awakenings. It has all of the awakening possibilities. There are three possible awakenings. And from what I've been told and from what I've read, it's random in terms of which awakening effect you get, but you can reawaken a skill as many times as you want. So you don't need a whole new skill in order to awaken it. You just need to, you just need to, um, reawaken it again. Uh, now I don't know how the whole system works exactly. I haven't bothered to go through and read the, the, the full Korean patch notes of when awakenings came out. Uh, but the awakening system will greatly alter the current way that abilities work. And as you can see, they grant incredible additional functionality. Um, you know, like toxic flame, being able to have full 360 AOE coverage, as I'm sure some of you have seen with some of the whirlwind toxic flame abilities. So, you know, it'll be curious to see how every skill is affected and altered by these awakenings. And I'll be looking forward to seeing what types of builds people come up with and uh, go along with once this update does go live. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to give a quick, quick, uh, you know, talk about the November 23rd reveal, uh, as well as what this update possibly entails. You know, we'll get patch notes in a couple days. Uh, but until then... You just gotta chill and wait it out and uh you know get grinding get grinding if you're not grinding right now you should be because this one's gonna be a doozy thank you all so much for watching have a good one and we'll see you in the next one